Hi folks, Dominic Ray's here at the Merchant of Magic. Now, I'm at a gig at the moment, but I've got time for a quick tip. And that's really to talk about difficulty levels for tricks. Now, when I'm asked at the magic shop, um, is this or that trick uh, difficult to learn? It's really, really hard to give a fair answer. And the reason why is every single trick, even the most complex knuckle buster, the essential core moves and techniques are fairly simple. It's not the difficulty of learning the technique, it's the repetition and the commitment that you have to repeat it over and over again until the moves become smooth and natural. So instead of difficulty level, really it should be more like effort level. How much effort will be required for me to master this trick? Now even an e the difference between an expert and a beginner is really how many times they've done the particular task. I, I believe that natural ability gives you an advantage to pick something up quickly, but with repetition, anybody has that same advantage. It's really about how often you're regularly prepared to commit to the moves and learn them. If you think about the muscle pass, um, it's quite a complex, hard trick to, to master, but the actual technique is very simple. You have to do it over and over and over again. So if you're looking at tricks and you're worried about the difficulty level, really decide whether you are prepared to commit to a single trick and repeat it over and over again, perhaps in a drill, maybe 20 times, twice a day for 20 days, and then you assess and repeat it consistently and regularly until it becomes second nature and you're happy with it. If you're not prepared to put in that effort, go for very self-working tricks where you don't have to keep drilling it. So instead of difficulty, I prefer effort, really. Well, I hope that's helped. If you've got any problems or questions at all, email the blog, which is blog.magicshop.co.uk, 